Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? So I'm on my way out to go into town. By the time that you guys see this video, you, it'll have been exactly a month since I came to WKU, which is the exactly a month since I moved into my dorm. So I kind of wanted to do a reflection vlog and kind of like let you guys know what my thoughts were on the first month of college and on a new campus where like, let's go. So right now I'm heading to my car and I actually made a list before I went out of a few things that I wanted to do today. So there's a few places that I want to visit. I'm just trying to have a chill Saturday because I've had a long week and I would actually like to just enjoy my day today. Okay, so guys, I'm in Fountain Square Park right now. It's so beautiful. Ever since the first time I saw this place, I've always wanted to come here. It's even better when the sun starts to go down because the lights just pop out. As I said earlier, it has been exactly one month since I moved down to WKU um, and transferred here and started living on campus and in Bowling Green. It's surprisingly not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I wasn't expecting for me to like make friends right away or for me to have like this amazing friend group right off the bat. That's something that I know has to be built. But I thought that I, I would feel a lot more alone and a lot more secluded while being here. But surprisingly, I felt more welcomed <laughs> than I've ever felt in a new place before, which is really nice, especially since I don't really know anybody here. And this is a this is all completely new to me. Like I'm I'm figuring out day by day. Classes have been actually going really well for the first month. I will say the classes that I thought were gonna be hard initially actually ended up being my easiest classes, which is so weird. I thought that the classes that I thought were gonna be harder would be the ones that would be challenging the most, but they actually weren't, which blows my mind. I looked on my blackboard and I was like, well, these two I thought were gonna be the hardest because the higher number they are, the harder they get. So they are like the highest number classes that I have and yet they ended up being the easiest classes I have. And all the lower number classes I have actually ended up being the more challenging classes I had. Not because they're hard, but it's more like there's more work to it. And the concepts we learn in the classes are a lot more complex. There's definitely a lot more work that I have to do and I have to work harder in those classes than the other two. Other than that, all all the professors in my classes have been all great. Um, one of my class, I have like this online class, and literally anytime that I have a problem, she emails me as soon as she can. I've never had a problem contacting her. She always gets back to me in a really fast fashion, actually. Literally, I could email her the night before, and the next morning I get something back, which is very beneficial, especially if. I have an emergency and I need the answer to the question, it really helps me out whenever the professor's like that because I low-key freaking out. I'm like, um, when are they going to answer? Am I going to get the answer in time? But no, I haven't had a problem with her. And all my other professors in my other classes, they've been so nice. I don't know if it's because... I, um, I wrote something in my online class saying how like a challenge that I thought was, or a challenge that I'm gonna have at WKU is like finding a place for me on that campus. And I don't know if she like told other professors or what, but like all my other professors, they've been really nice. They've been asking me how I've been doing, how my weekend was, and if I'm finding the class okay, if I'm enjoying it. I don't know if it's because of that or if they genuinely care. I'm still trying to figure it out. But the professors are really, really nice. And I really appreciate them for checking up on me just because there's like no one here that does that. I'm really grateful for the professors I've had. They're all amazing. A couple of them can be a little intimidating from time to time, but I'm truly grateful that I have the professors I have now. I, I'm excited to see what uh, what kind of relationship I'll, end up build, I, I'll have built by the end of the semester. Okay, 
Okay, so I just got finished doing a photo shoot, which is why I have the glasses on now. In regards to how I'm adjusting and what life is like on campus, it's actually really chill, guys. I'm adjusting really well here. I'm not gonna lie. I think it was maybe after the second week, I felt like I, I had started to feel like I'd been here for like a while, actually. I had adjusted so well to like my new schedule and to my new surroundings that like, it just felt like it was something that I had already done before. It was just so weird. The only thing that I can't seem to adjust to is the fact that like, I have no one here. Well, that's a lie. Um, I actually, one of my in-class friends that were, that was in one of my previous videos, my first full week at college video, her name was Brooke. Um, we've actually been getting closer and we're planning on doing something soon outside of class. So I'm excited for that. But it's so weird just like going on campus and like not knowing anybody or not having to say hi to anybody. Um, I hate it, <laughs> but I am taking it slow. I'm not rush. I'm not wanting to rush into anything. So like, um, it's something. It, it's something that I did by choice. So I'm not gonna complain about it. Life here has been really great, guys. Bowling Green has been treating me really well. Um, right now, I'm just waiting to hear back from the jobs I applied to. I'm just kind of playing the chill game right now, which I'm not complaining either because it gives me time to like vlog with you guys and to make more YouTube videos. But I'm not going to lie, I miss working and I'm ready to go back. <laughs> You guys can see i'm in aviation heritage park now guys this place is actually kind of cool um there's like i think two different tennis courts and they're like on my left and right side of me right now and in the middle of the whole park there's like five i think it's five yeah five ships um some are from the u.s navy some from the air force some from the army but like on each like different type of plane that's like on there there's like a little like plaque that describes who flew it and the history behind the person that did fly it so like it's a way to honor the soldiers that like, got prestige in the army or in their form of service that also lived in Bowling Green so I think that's pretty cool. After kind of like living for a month on campus there are things there are still things that like I'm so worried about and um, I guess a few insecurities that I have. One thing that kind of is kind of like a constant worry for me is like if I'll ever get to find my people on campus I think right now the struggle is is that I still haven't been able to find like the thing that I want to do on campus one thing that's helping with that is like my online class is kind of introducing me to all the like programs and stuff that they have on campus so like as i'm learning through the class what programs they offer i'm starting to kind of get introduced to like all these things that i might be interested in so hopefully i do find something but um i definitely know that once i kind of find that one thing it'll start e it'll start to become easier for me to like find people and to like actually find friends. Another thing that I'm kind of struggling with is breaking out my shell. And I think that's like the best way that I can describe it. I, I did so much at my previous school that like I felt like I truly had broken out of my shell. But then once I got to my new school, WKU, it felt like I was in a much bigger pool. So it's, it's like, it's a lot harder for me to kind of find the one thing that I'm that I can shine at or like that I'm that I want to do and there's like so many different people doing all these amazing things and it's like whoa like where where's like a place for me on this campus and it's it's starting to get really hard but like I said I'm taking it one day at a time so I'm trying to like get myself out of that mindset so that way I don't become negative about my experience Okay, so I had to come in my car because it was starting to get really cold out there. <sighs> Those are like the thoughts that have kind of been running through my mind just because I'm trying so hard not to compare it to what my experience was like at my previous school. But it's so hard since what I did at my previous school was so big for me and it, it impacted me 
in such a big way that it literally changed who I am and the way I think about certain things. And I learned so much through that experience and I'm truly grateful to have gone through that. And I was, I was hoping that I would be able to do more whenever I transferred up to WKU. But as of right now, I'm, I'm really worried that I'm not gonna have as great of an experience or get to go through those things. I'm kind of praying about it to God and I'm, I'm leaving it all up to him. Honestly, um, every single day I, I think about how things could be going and I every every single time that I get into that mindset I I try to remind myself like Elijah like don't rush this but there's a reason why this is happening the way it is just leave it up to God and give it to him and when the day comes everything will come together or everything will be the way it's supposed to be and ironically enough any time that I've always wanted something to be at a certain point and it wasn't if i left it up to god he always found a way to pull through it, it and it didn't turn out the way i wanted it to but it turned out the way it had to be or the way it was supposed to be i guess it, it if that makes sense you know even though it wasn't the way i wanted it to be it turned out in a way where it benefited me more than what i would have wanted another thing that that's kind of been going through my mind is what my life here at Bowling Green is going to look like or what it's supposed to be like. I had gotten so accustomed to my life back in my hometown. I had like a schedule. I knew when things were supposed to happen. Um, and anytime that like any of anytime that something did change, I would always like find a way to adjust my schedule or like figure out how I can like fit things together and stuff like that. But here, I don't have anything here. <laughs> yeah, in Bowling Green. It's like, um, yeah, I go to school and I'm learning, but other than school, it's like, I really don't have anything like built here yet. It's kind of like, it's kind of like I've truly started from ground zero. Back in my hometown, I, I had, piled so many things up on top of each other to the point where I was like living in the clouds like that was like the feeling that I got my efforts had gotten me to a point where I felt like I had done a lot and I felt really accomplished about what I did and then once I transferred here it's like I I got knocked down again it's like I'm starting from the ground up which is not a bad thing of course but whenever whenever you start from somewhere so whenever you start from a place where you felt like you had built something up and then you start all over again it like leaves this empty feeling inside of you i had worked so hard at all the things that i was doing back in my old school and back at my old job and i mean the experience became something way more than i could have imagined i mean like every single person that i interacted with throughout my experiences were amazing. I don't think I could ask for anything better than what I had, but in reality, there's always going to be a better opportunity or, or something better to come along because that's the way life works. Even though something was so amazing at one point, it doesn't mean that not something just as amazing or something even better will come along. And that's, that's something that I've learned a lot in life. And um, I'm trying to constantly remind myself of right now, just because I've gotten into kind of like a habit of like comparing what my life was like back in my hometown to what it is now. But I keep reminding myself I can't do that just because what I had back in my hometown it's not gonna be the same as to what I have here. The conditions are different and there are different opportunities. And here, my the potential for me to grow, if I have to be honest, is a lot greater because I'm starting from nothing. I have the potential to grow even more and I have the potential to do something greater. That's the positive side. The negative side of that is like, yeah, I have the potential, but how do I access it? Where is it, you know? Um, I don't, I, right now I'm not seeing it, you know? So it's so hard for me to have, to have faith in that when it's not something that I can grab onto or it's not something that I'm seeing every single day. Other than like filming YouTube videos and TikToks because I'm trying to get better at making social media content, I also want to know what, what I can do here in the community, if that makes sense. Because the last, 
my last school i was at a community college and um all the things i did at that school it helped me connect somehow in the community even through my job i met so many people in the community sometimes they felt so comfortable with me to the point where they would share certain things about about their lives which that made me feel so special in a way just because it's like i'm this completely random stranger to you i don't even know you and yet you felt comfortable enough to open up to me this way like it it feels amazing when somebody do, does that because then that goes to show the kind of person that you are you know like they're that you're someone who can comfort someone in some way that's what i want to find here in bowling green in whatever shape in whatever way shape or form i want to be able to find the thing where i can connect with some of the people here in the community um and learn about what Bowling Green is or what makes Bowling Green so special. Recently, I've been working really hard to stay out of my dorm as long as I can. So kind of like going on walks or maybe um, having coffee with one of my friends in my classes or driving in town to just kind of go around in town and like stroll or do some sightseeing or anything like that. I've been doing everything I can to stay out of my dorm because um, one, I don't think it's healthy to just lock myself up in the dorm. And then two, I'm kind of closing off the opportunity for me to like connect with other people or to connect with Bowling Green. That's one thing that I've been working really hard to improve on. And it slowly started to make a change because anytime that I stayed in my dorm for too long, I slowly started to get depressed because it's like, I st it, my mind started to get to like that point where it's like, this is all I see and it's, it, it, I started to feel trapped. I was like, wow, like this dorm is all I have on this campus. Like I started to get into that mindset and I was like, nope, we're not doing that. We are not doing that today. So I've been working really hard to like make sure that like I am not in my dorm any more than I need to be. Another thing that I also want to start seeing in my campus life is like, I want to know, or I want to be able to like have friends to hang with in like the different areas on campus. I just want somebody to kind of like talk to, have a laugh with, um, and find a reason to like, I don't know, find a reason to enjoy every single day, you know, other than classes and, um, and a new, the new environment that I get to be in. Like, I want to, I want to wake up knowing that like, there's somebody who's actually looking forward to like seeing my face <laughs> during the day. You only thing that's changed since my last reflection vlog is that I'm more comfortable on campus. <laughs>
it, it's like up and down all the time. Um, I constantly have to work on my mental health and try to keep myself from a negative space. A lot of people are struggling with mental health nowadays, so they're, they, people are trying to find new ways to kind of like cope with certain things or to make things better for them so that way that their mental health is better. But that's, that's pretty much me on a daily basis, um, especially with me being here in a new place and a new environment. There have been a lot of situations that I've been in ever since I got here where I feel anxious all the time or I feel self-conscious or I feel I feel I get really down on myself it's been happening to me a lot lately so I've had to readjust my like my point of view and my mindset on the situation and just remind myself that I'm doing the best that I can and that I can't control everything that happens and whatever happens it just happens you know I have to let it be so um, that's something that I'm constantly working on as I'm here. I'm so happy about the day that I've had, guys. It's just, I was so stressed about like posting my video this morning because um, it, it, it was going to be posted a little later and there were like a few things I was a little worried about because of copyright issues, but everything ended up turning out fine. And then I pretty much just went out and enjoyed my day. And I mean, I got out of it exactly what I wanted and even more. I mean, it's been a while since I felt kind of this calm and serene here in Bowling Green and I'm happy I can kind of like feel that, <laughs> feel some type of peace down here. So that's something that I'm truly grateful for. And I got to go to like so many different and beautiful places. I mean, Fountain Square Park guys is so beautiful. Like if I was there right now since the, set, the sun has set, those lights are probably burning bright and I wish that I could I wish I could go back and see it, honestly. And then Aviation Heritage Park, even though it was cold, like I think it's really cool that they had all those like, sh um, those uh, those crafts, the aircrafts there for people to see. But man, I there's still so many places in Bowling Green that I want to explore, and uh, you best know that I'm gonna be covering every single place that I go to and showing it to you guys. So that pretty much sums up all the thoughts and feelings that I had about my first month here at WKU. I'm pretty much back on campus now and I just picked up some Chick-fil-A from the DSU food court because I'm so hungry. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and kind of going through the day with me. Today was definitely a relaxing day and I definitely needed it, especially after the long week that I've had. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And Guys, I truly appreciate all the likes, all the views that you guys give me. Every single little bit counts. Um, I'm trying to put more effort into these videos. So anything that you guys give me, I really do appreciate it. And I'm very grateful for it. If there's anything specific you want me to do, definitely message me on Instagram or put it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye.